I've always done a fair bit of running, but only sort of three or four miles at a time. And then it's only since I joined the Trust um, that I was having a conversation with uh, Julie Behan, who works for Seafarers UK, and uh, Stephen, our previous chief executive. And they encouraged me into taking part in the Great South Run a few years ago. And so I did that, which is a 10 mile race. Um, and helped raise money for Seafarers UK, who've always been a good supporter of RNBT. Um, and then after that, I loved that event, so that encouraged me to uh, look at doing the next distance up, which was the half marathon. And then after uh, taking part in Bournemouth Half Marathon, I then joined a local uh, running club in Southampton called uh, Itchen Spitfires, who are a really supportive, encouraging club. And um, at the club, seeing how many people were taking part in their first ever marathon, that really inspired me to think, well, perhaps, you know, I could still run a marathon even in my late 40s. Um, so this year um, I took part in the London Marathon uh, in April and, um, and enjoyed it. Because it's such a big achievement, I, th I feel, being able to run 26.2 miles, um, then there's lots of people who, you know, are willing to support you through sponsorship. So I thought it's an ideal opportunity to try and raise money for, for a charity. And obviously working for RNBT, I see at first hand um, the assistance that we provide to our beneficiaries, both in terms of grants and the care that we give at Pembroke House. So there's only ever one charity that I want to try and raise money for. Um, and I'm really grateful that everyone was so generous in helping me to raise about £1,000 for RNBT. A marathon might not be for everybody, but I'm sure everyone is quite, quite keen to do some sort of challenge event, whether that's running or swimming or cycling um, and you know it could just be 5k or 10k so if anyone out there is considering doing any sort of challenge just even if it's for their own own personal satisfaction then why not uh, try and use it as an opportunity to raise some funds for RNBT as well we're always you know grateful for for all our supporters who raise money for us so I'd really encourage everybody out there to consider you know what you may be able to do over the next year to, to try and raise some funds for RNBT. In fact, I hear that even the events and publicity officer is considering her own fundraising challenge over the next year, so really keen to find out what that is. Thanks for that, Rob. <laughs> I will see what I can do. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Thanks. I can eat 26 marathons. I probably couldn't even run any. All right, you've set the gauntlet now. I'll make it so.